Greetings one and all, beard savants. This is Brandon from growabeardnow.com and today I'm doing a review of H Beard Beard Oil by Amolis or Amoils. AM Oils, Amols, Healing Natural Oils, LLC. All right, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding, uh, knowing the brand. But uh, let, let's go today over a number of different factors. If you've seen my beard oil reviews in the past, you know that I spend a lot of time talking about the labeling and the packaging details because I feel that that's incredibly important to the success of a beard oil uh, for the obvious reason that nobody's going to be touching, picking up, feeling, smelling your beard oil because you're selling it online. Very few shops around sell beard oil. So it's really going to be about capturing people's imagination and inspiring them with photography of, alone. And uh, I'll talk about the bottle itself first. This is a, a nice glass bottle. I prefer glass bottles to plastic bottles, and it's got an amber color to it, which means that it's going to keep your carrier oils that are inside the mixture much longer than, say, a clear bottle, which is going to allow more sunlight through and could potentially um, have your carrier oils turn more quickly. Of course, if you keep it in a cool, dry place, it's going to last much longer. But then let's talk about the label. Um, now, let's see if you can take a look at it. Can you read any of the text there? Does any of it stand out? Can you tell what any of that is? What it is, is it's, it's this sort of yellow lozenge shape with a sunflower uh, a bunch, uh, amid a whole bunch of text and then the word H beard oil. Now, there are a couple of problems with this. First of all, it's a lot of text in a sh small space. The, the brand name, the name of the brand of, of oil is not very large, means it's, which means it's hard to, to check out. Secondly, it looks very amateurish. They're using either Arial or Helvetica, I can't tell, but it's a very common font. Um, it, it looks like this, was, this label was created in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Works. It doesn't look like it's been professionally designed. Um, and then lastly, I'll just mention the name of the oil itself, H Beard. Okay, it's short and I like that, but what does the H stand for? Healing? Happy? Hermaphroditic? I don't know. It's an H and it doesn't say healing. Oh, I get it because healing natural oils. H beard, so it must be healing beard. Okay, I get it now. All right, so it's he it's healing beard oil, but uh, for someone who's slow like myself uh, and sees H beard for the first time, it doesn't really inspire me to purchase it. It doesn't sound interesting. Uh, whereas some of the other brands of beard oils that I've reviewed in the past, um, you know, Beard Brand is, is, is an interesting one. Lucky Scruff, Dream Beard. Um, and, and so forth like that. Those are more interesting brand names. H Beard doesn't really sound really good to me. Um, and then overall, it's just small. The contrast is not very good. Yellow on white isn't a good color choice. All right, I'm done. I'm not going to talk about the label too much, but look at all of this bottle real estate they could have used for a label, and they're using this tiny little sliver right there. All right, I'm done talking about the label. Let's get to the actual contents of the beard oil itself. Now, one thing you're really going to notice that one thing you notice immediately and that I really like is it has an interesting applicator. It's got this little insert that throttles the amount of beard oil that you can get out so that to get the oil out of it, you got to shake it. You can't just turn it upside down. It, drop, it drops out in tiny drops. That's excellent. And the reason that's so great is because it means you're not going to be wasting a lot of your beard oil. You can um, shake out exactly the amount that you're going to use the exact amount that you want, and then you just rub it into your hands. Okay, I'm feeling a gritty, a gritty sensation, but that could just be from my shirt, or it could be a crystallized piece of oil. No, there's not in that. All right, it must have been from my shirt, so no grittiness, no grittiness in this fine oil. Okay. Um, if you've seen some of my other previous beard oil reviews, you're going to notice that uh, I really like to talk about the texture of the beard oil, and I think that's important. Uh, uh, th there are two extremes. There's the really silky feeling, and then there's the fairly oily, thick feeling. And this oil is more towards the thick side. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are many people who enjoy a thick feeling beard oil. Some people will just grab some coconut oil and just put it in their beard and they're good to go. Um, so that may be right up your alley. Me personally, I prefer a silkier feel to my beard oil, uh, almost like it's a, it's a lubrication. And this doesn't feel like that. But let's put it in the beard, see how it gets up in there. Use your fingers. 
Just weave it in and out of the beard like your hands are combs. There you go. Get it all in there. You want it on the under beard. You want it in the middle of the beard. You want it on top of the beard. Don't just put it in one place. All right, so as you can see, it's got a little bit more of a shine to it, or maybe you can't see based on the light, uh, but it feels fairly silky and smooth. And then take your comb. I, I sometimes use a brush, and some of my other videos I've used this brush, but I'm switching to my comb because I think a comb is a better choice when doing your morning grooming ritual because you're going to have fewer casualties. You're going to lose fewer beard hairs um, when you use a comb. And uh, this is one of my favorite combs. This is my ox horn beard comb. And for those who, who know me, you know why I like it. But uh, this is for sale on my beard oil page. Uh, I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, but it's for sale at growbeardnow.com. And what you don't want is you don't want it to snag. And I don't know if you can hear it, but when your comb catches on a knot, you hear a big snapping sound, and sometimes you even lose a hair, which is what you want to avoid. Okay, there was one snag, but I might not have gotten it into there. Oh, there's another. There we go, and just a few casualties. One, just one casualty. So it combs in really nice and smooth. Um, you know, in my opinion, if it's a silkier feel to the beard oil, it's gonna go in smoother. And this one has had a thicker feel to it, so that's probably why I had a few snags. But it's it's all right. It's not it's not the worst feeling. And then let's let's sniff it. Let's do the sniff test. All right. So let's let's do a beard cupping. Just take the beard up, put it in your hands, and go like we're a snobby coffee judge. We live on Capitol Hill in downtown Seattle, and we. We frequent all the different coffee shops, and we've got a coffee blog. There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm sensing, um, I want to say lemon, but not lemon. It's a citrusy feel. It's kind of bright. It's a bright citrusy feel. Serious business here. Okay, it's kind of like lemon, but it's not lemon. It's got a citrusy scent to it. It kind of hits the back of your sinuses with this brightness when you sniff, when you sniff it. When you're taking a big uh, whiff. And then it's got um, a musky kind of scent to it. Which could be sandalwood, although I don't think that's in there. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We've got... Cor oh, okay. They used the Latin names to make it more difficult for you to figure out what's actually in here. Um, all right, I'll try and find the actual ingredient names. But for the, for the time being, they've got... Corylus alivana seed oil, which I think is jojoba seed oil. Simondasia chineus seed oil. Argania spinoza kernel oil, which is argan oil. Juniperus communis, no, communis fruit oil. So that's juniper oil. That's an essential oil. And then santalum album oil. So sandalwood? I think that's sandalwood. But that would explain the muskiness. I wonder why they didn't actually name the real names of the, well, the, the non-Latin names of the oil. But, all right, so there you go. There's the H Beard Beard Oil. Definitely worth a try. The applicator alone, I think, is probably the one, uh, one of the most positive aspects of this beard oil experience. It means you're not going to waste any. You'll save some of the product. You're not going to be running off to get another bottle in a month, and so you'll be saving money. And uh, overall, it's a very pleasant oil. I, I really have few criticisms about the oil itself. I would probably prefer a silkier feel to it, but the scent is very nice, depending on what you want. I also like more woodsy, sort of cedary smells, but this is a very fine summer or spring bright citrusy smell to it. So there you go. That is my review of the H Beard Beard Oil. For more beard oil reviews and beard care and product and grooming reviews and guides. Go to growabeardnow.com. That's growabeardnow.com. And keep bearding, ladies and gentlemen.